Yo, I don't think we should talk about this. Come on, why not? People might misunderstand what we're trying to say, you know? But that's a part of life, okay? Hi, I'm Christina. I'm Carrie. And I'm Melanie. And we're the Foxy Ladies. And we're here today to talk to you about dental dams. So we want to share with you what a dental dam is. So a dental dam comes in a package that looks like this. And it is a physical barrier that is used during oral sex. So we will open this up for you and show you. And it's flavored. Mm. This one's banana flavored. But yeah, it smells pretty good. So this is a dental dam. It's a long sheet of latex that can be stretched. It's made out of the same material as most condom. It's not lubricated. And um, you're going to use this on either a vulva or an anus during oral sex. You cover it, you put lube on the side of the person who's receiving, and then you can go to town. And it should be noted that dental dams are available in non-latex as well for people who might have allergies. But dental dams are kind of hard to find, so we're gonna show you how to make a dental dam from something that you probably already have at home, a condom. <laughs> awesome. There we go. Okay. No so the first thing you want to do is check the expiration date on your condom. Make sure it's not expired because these do expire. As you should with all condoms, whether you're turning it into a dental dam or using it um, for penetrative sex, you should rip it along the perforated edge. That helps you not puncture the condom while you're opening it. Don't use your teeth. It's best to use condoms that aren't lubricated because these ones tend to be a bit more slippery. Mm -hmm. um, but if that's all you have, it'll work too. Also, don't use sheepskin condoms for this because they don't protect against STIs. So you want to roll it out all the way. All right. And then, take it away, Christina. You want to cut off the base of the condom. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And then you want to cut off the tip of the condom. Watch your fingers. It helps if you have someone to help you hold it. And then you want to cut along the length of the condom. that too. <laughs> there we go. So right down the length. Perfect. And now you have your very own DIY dental dam. Nice. So if you don't have access to an actual dental dam, you still have options. Condoms are more widely available than dental dams. So we should talk about why you might want to use this during oral sex. Well, Many STIs can be spread through oral sex, and one in particular that is the most common STI is the human papilloma virus. So this can be spread from different types of unprotected oral sex. That's why it's important to use something like a barrier method, meaning a condom made into a dental dam or a dental dam you can buy at a store. Also, HPV can cause types of cancers in your throat and there is a rise in this specific type of cancer that's occurring in our generation. So it is very important to protect your mouth during oral sex. There are other things uh, for DIY dental dams that you might find on the internet, so using Ziploc bags or saran wrap or rubber gloves, but those items aren't made for sex and they may not protect you from STIs. So it's important to use a dental dam or a condom because they're specifically created to protect against STIs and you want to make sure that you're protecting yourself and your partner and condoms or dental dams are the way to do that. We hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and getting some information on dental dams. And thank you for watching. Stay, Stay boxy, boxy Mustangs! Mustangs.